Paulette, it's so great to see you again. I know, it's been so many years. It really has. We used to work together. Yes, indeed. And uh, we were reflecting that it goes back to 1976. You and I were the only people who were taking on cults. You took on the movies, I took on the Scientologists. People thought we were crazy. <laughs> yeah, we were crazy, but uh, we felt passion. Yes, and we also... You knew how bad the Moonies were because you had been a Mooney. I knew how bad Scientology was because when I tried to research them, people started telling me that they were getting death threats and all these horrible, horrible stories. And this is a, a copy yes, of your famous book that started it all. I, you kindly inscribed it just now. I called this the book that launched a thousand suits. Yes. Unfortunately. But you, you know, you are a hero to me uh, and an inspiration. And, and you were a hero to me because you took on the Moonies when nobody else was. Uh, and I honestly didn't think I would live a year when I started talking out against them because they were doing the, we're, we're, we're getting people going after you, Steve. But here I am, 36 yeah. years later, and the moon died, and now his children are fighting amongst themselves and the empire, even though they have billions of dollars and a lot of political influence, still doesn't look like they're going to take over the world. So I'm happy about that. They're, they're teetering. But the problem, Paulette, is uh, that the problem of cults are not being covered in the media. You well, know, they're afraid of lawsuits, they're afraid of the lobbyists and uh, the lobbyist corruption. But I'm happy to say you started a movement that many years later, so many top officials are coming out and speaking about all the crimes that they were uh, asked to commit in the name of Hubbard and the craziness. And um, it's actually very exciting for me to be meeting former members of this SP party uh, here in 2013 and just to have hope for a lot of people who have felt hopeless for so long. Well put. Now, one of the things that we have going for us now that you and I did not have in 1976, and today's young people don't realize this, is we did not have the internet. Right. You and I were the internet. If somebody <laughs> had a problem... We had the photocopy machine when right. it was invented exactly. really helped. Exactly. If somebody had a problem, they would come to you, and, or come to me, depending on whether it was a problem right. or a Scientology problem. And then we knew of other people who might be able to help them. Exactly. Nowadays, they can post to the internet and instantly find assistance and help. It makes a huge difference, and people are less afraid to speak out because now they see that there are numbers. Exactly. So. Yeah. And so I guess because we're now going to take advantage of the internet and put this little... Um, uh, video of us together uh, up on the internet. I wonder if there's anything you want to say to maybe current Scientologists who might be watching this, former members who may have been indoctrinated to hate you and think yeah. you're a bad person. As I was told, I'm I, but Scientology, as you know, did you know black PR and dead agent campaigns and. Etc. I'm a kidnapper and I rape and I torture and I beat and I drug to get people out of Scientology. None of the above. <laughs> um, what, would, what would you like to say, if anything? Um, well, obviously they're on the internet because they're uh, watching YouTube. Mm -hmm. But there's a tremendous amount of information out there right now. And, right. Uh, first of all, they can read my book free if they go to paulacreeper.com, my website. I didn't realize that. Yes, Good I, for you. Yes, it's up there. Fantastic. And uh, they can also read about what was done to me. But I, I would encourage them to read as much as they can, especially stories of former cult members. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to see then that they're not alone, but that many of them have gone through the same experience. And many of them, when they, you know this, when they, when they leave a cult, they feel that they've lost all their friends. Mm -hmm. And it's really good for them to be able to uh, meet and people network. who have gone through network and right. so on. And, um, so right. I and Mark Bunkers. Mark uh, Bunker, Tony Zeno, Ortega. Zeno TV and TonyOrtega.org mm -hmm. and right. Lermanet.com and JerryArmstrong.org. Zenynet. Zenu.net, oh, and Andreas, and Mark, yeah, and, Mark and, TV. and my friend Tori Christman has yes. a great site and yeah. does lots of videos. It's really uh, amazing, and yet what I'm also wanted to comment on is that we're seeing people born into cults. 
coming out who haven't had a normal childhood and kind of need to learn what they should have had in a normal family experience and educational experience and such. Again, that's because they can read, they can find out what's happening. Right, exactly. And, and so, I don't know if you probably had this experience I have where people have come out and apologized to me for going through yes. my trash yes, cans yes. and picketing yes. and Nazi uniforms outside yes. my office yes, and, yes. and just, other dirty things. Yeah, I just uh, somebody saw my video on Mark Bunker's uh, thing and he's come out and apologized to me and told me all about how he burglarized various things and how in fact, the man that introduced the two of us, his job was to, uh, he lived in Michigan, his job was to remove my book from every public library in Michigan. Oh, they, uh, That's how it was. Yeah, yeah, they did that with my first book, Combating. They went to all the libraries and they disappeared. Right, right. People wanted to take it out and there's nowhere to be found. The New York Public Library told me that all 50 copies of The Scandal of Scientology disappeared in one hour. Nice. So they must have sent all the few people down or a few people with very big pockets down. Right. And uh, years later I have to call the Los Angeles Information Service, the library's mm -hmm. service, and the woman said, oh, are you the uh, Paula Cooper who wrote the scandal of Scientology? I said, yes. She said, oh. She said, your book is under lock and key. If anybody wants to read it, they have to sit next to me. If they want to get up and go to the bathroom, <laughs> she said, they have to, uh, you know, bring me the book back before uh, they go to the library. Great, that's good to know. But now that now with e ebook e publishing, uh, I think true. is uh, they're yes. going to have a harder time to suppress information. Of course, that's one of the major techniques of cult mind control is information control that's right. That's right. and uh, telling people they can't talk to ex-members or critics or read materials or go to their websites. And uh, what's very interesting for me is with the internet as well is when when uh, people in Scientology learn about the Moonies, so, and I recommend, by the way, the BBC documentary called Emperor of the Universe okay. about Moon. When they sit and they watch that, yeah. they go, holy mackerel, that group is bigger uh. than our group. We thought our group was the biggest group. That group is way bigger, more political, wealthier, but they can see the parallels the grandiose leader and the control of behavior and information and thoughts and emotions and the demand for obedience and dependency. When people ask me, what is Scientology? I tell them it's a cross between the Moonies and the Mafia. Mm. <laughs> so then they know instantly. <laughs> and uh, so I guess I just want to say, uh, reflecting over my life work in this field, you, uh, John Etak, Jerry Armstrong, um, uh, Arnie Lerma, uh, Tori Christman. I want to s specially acknowledge Bob Minton when he set yes. up the Lisa McPherson Trust. Absolutely. He actually bought 2,000 copies in advance that got me the, the funds to be able to publish Releasing the Bonds, and I dedicated that book and, and its, its update, Freedom of Mind, to Lisa McPherson and the spirit of all who want to be free is my dedication. And everyone who yearns to be free. Um, so, uh, in wrapping up, any anything else you'd like to say other than you've gone on to live a, a wonderfully fulfilling life despite all the harassment and threats and horror shows? And, and best of all, other people are now doing what you and I really started, and it's just wonderful to see that right. at this point. And from my point of view, there needs to be a lot of young people educated about cults and mind control who can go out and inoculate others because there's not enough information. Yeah. There, there may be information on Scientology, but there's so many splinter groups of Scientology. That's true, and so many other names that they're using. Just the front group. Groups. The front group, yes. The front groups, I mean, and, and changing names altogether. People who tell people to watch out for Scientology, but then suddenly, every time there are problems, they call themselves Dianetics. Right. So, so you have to watch that. And then Narconon is now calling itself Forever 
something about it. What are they calling it, Colin? The best drug rehab. The best, the best drug rehab. Well, the moon, we rehab. have on my website, with the help of my PI, Larry Ziliox, yeah. a front group list of the Moonies, that the last time I checked was 66 oh. pages, oh, single God. space, <laughs> of front okay. groups of the Moonies. So the Moonies beat Scientology. Sorry. Yeah. Scientologists. We actually visited Abel in St. Louis. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. No, they, one of the problems with the, uh, the Moonies would use all these other names, but at least Scientology always, no matter what name they used, at the very bottom it would say something like, you know, based on the philosophy of L. Ron Hubbard. Mm. So they would always give clue. themselves away, whereas the Moonies did not, so that uh, it was harder sometimes to ascertain. No, because Satan is the god of this world, oh, and we okay. were a god, oh. so we had to trick Satan and Satan's minions. That was the rationale in the Moonies. But uh, the Moonies definitely had ties to the South Korean government and intelligence agencies, and that's a whole other story in a video. But can I give you a hug? Yes, absolutely. You're wonderful. It's good seeing you. You look you are great. Too. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Feeling Thank great. Thank you. Take care. Bye.